Hello, hello, friends. I have with me today Natah Dadi. I was surprised to find out that it's relatively low on sugar uh, compared to most other uh, lemonade types of drinks out there. This had also been apparently a staple of the Soviet times. My grandparents recall drinking this in their childhood. I will say it is delicious. This one is tarragon flavored. But I digress. Uh, today I want to chat about, um, or rather perhaps maybe offer an ode to Dostoevsky. I cannot end the month of November, his birth month, uh, without mentioning him in some capacity. And November 11th marked his 200th birthday. And my goodness, the fact that he's been around for 200 years in written form is just so magical to me. Uh, of the times in my life when I followed the true path rather than the correct path, Dostoevsky was there to guide. First, to encourage me to be less afraid of the intuitive inner workings of the heart. Second, to nudge me towards risks, better characterized in hindsight as saving graces. Risks that I would not have taken had I pursued a more secure, conventional route with decisions in life. Third, to remind me, as he so eloquently put it, I won't lose hope and will preserve my heart and spirit in purity. So I owe a tremendous amount to this man right here, uh, to his written works, to his own spirit, his own perseverance, and his ability to have conveyed in writing the collective human spirit. At the age of 27, Dostoevsky was arrested for being a member of a literary society considered anti-Tsarist. He was clothed in a white shirt signifying execution garb. He was read his death sentence in a public square in St. Petersburg and being, I believe, sixth in line to face his death at the firing squad. He was made agonizingly aware of his last moments on earth. But in these last moments, an announcement was made. The Tsar, in a pathetic attempt to paint himself as a benevolent ruler, pardoned Dostoevsky and commanded him to face um, four years in a labor camp and several more in exiled military service in the name of the Tsar. And yet, despite fate, Dostoevsky proclaimed the following in a letter to his brother as a nod to the freedom to choose how we react to life's vicissitudes. He wrote, Brother, I am not despondent, and I have not lost heart. Life is everywhere. Life is in ourselves, not outside. There will be people by my side, and to be a human being among people, and to remain one forever, no matter in what circumstances, not to grow despondent and not to lose heart. That's what life is all about. That is its task. I have come to recognize that. So may we too, as we grow a day older, come to know this, that as Dostoevsky writes, when I look back at the past and think how much time was spent in vain, how much of it was lost in delusions, in errors, in idleness, in the inability to live, how I failed to value it, how many times I sinned against my heart and spirit, then my heart contracts in pain. Life is a gift. Life is happiness. Each moment could have been an eternity of happiness. Si je ne savais, if only youth knew. I often, when it comes to birthdays, reflect on this, uh, this sentiment from Dostoevsky that I have learned, and it's quite invigorating, and it gives one hope, and, and I think contains pretty much all of human wisdom summed up into one. That's all I had for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the upcoming winter season and that you revel in the holiday spirit. If you enjoyed this video, I would very much so appreciate a nod of support by way of a like, a comment, sharing, or even going ahead and um, opening a dialogue. I'd love to chat with you in the comments below. Alrighty, until next time. Bye.